So I've had a few people ask me about Amazon Flex. I do it sometimes on the weekends and evenings, a little bit on the side. So I'm going to take you along and show you what it's like to do a block of time for Amazon Flex. Here's a look at what it's like to do Amazon Flex. I do this every once in a while. It's kind of fun. You sit here and hit refresh watching for a block of time to pop up that you can claim. Sometimes it's pretty quick, sometimes it takes forever. When you get one, you go to the warehouse. There's the packages. Scan them all. Or sometimes you can scan this barcode on the bag and that scans them all in for you so you don't have to do it individually. Saves a little bit of time. Load them into the car. I've got them loaded up in the car. Boxes in the back. I like to put the envelopes here in the front seat. It's like today I've got 44 packages going down to Provo and Provo Canyon. The Amazon app gives you the turn by turn directions to each place. This one's a minute away. The app is built in and it pops up where you can take a picture of the package as soon as you drop it off at the house. So you take a picture of every package and on to the next one. This is what it looks like when they have you take a picture. Try to hide the package. And that was have you take a picture of it too. I just had to call a customer because they didn't give the gate code to get into their gated neighborhood. It's a common problem. So there are definitely some things you run into doing flex. A lot of gate codes missing. Actually, the guy sitting in front of me at the gate was also doing flex, I could see. He was trying to get in and deliver some packages. Run into other flex drivers a lot, run into other UPS and post office drivers a lot, delivering Amazon packages too. I have many times got to the same house at the same time with someone else I saw when I picked up packages at the warehouse. So one thing I would definitely suggest after doing this for about two years now on the weekend sometimes don't follow the route that Amazon suggests they put all the packages in a certain order numbered and the app automatically takes you to the next one if you just did number seven the app will say now you're going to number eight but you can override that and decide to go to whichever one you want and they are really bad at picking routes Maybe it's just the area I'm in, but probably not. You can get done in a quarter to a half of the time they say it should take. If you pick your own route, if you know your area. And your hourly rate goes way up if you do it faster like that. I mean, you still get the same amount of money, but per hour it's like you made more. Basically, if you like driving a lot and you like walking a lot, it's a pretty great way to get some extra money on the side.